Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will show you the latest update from Microsoft about Copilot Studio. The good news is now we can create power automate flows from the Copilot Studio tool itself. Earlier, we had to create flow from the Power Automate Maker Portal. Now you don't need to go to Power Automate Portal. We can create flow from the Copilot Studio tool itself. The beauty of this tool in this module is in this type of flow, we can maintain version history, which is not there in Power Automate Portal. So let's get started. How to create a Power Automate flow from Copilot Studio. So once you log into your Copilot Studio portal, you'll get to see at the left side panel, Flows icon or Flows menu link. This is the link. Let's click on that. You can see the Agent Flows screen is opening. You can see this message. Start building Agent Flows for fast, predictable automations. Agent flows are automations that follow the same instructions with every run. You can build one by describing it to AI or starting with a blank designer. We can create a flow in two ways, by clicking on the new agent flow or start in designer button. Let's click on this new, new agent flow button. Here you can pass a prompt or you can select any of the existing prompts. For this demo, I will select a sample prompt from this list. All right. So this is the template or the prompt I selected for my demo. My flow is getting ready for creation. Let's wait for a few seconds. It's ready for create. My flow framework is ready. Now I need to pass the parameters to make this flow work. Right? Click on the create button to create this flow. You need to pass the site URL, list, or document library name, and other parameters wherever needed. I'm not getting into that. I'm just showing how you can create a flow from the Copilot Studio tool itself, and how we can see the version history of flow. So if you click on this version history link, you can see the version history of your flow and go back to the past state of your flow if you need to. Right? As you can see the version history for a flow. This feature is missing in Power Automate Maker Portal. I mean, we can't see the version history if we create a flow using the Power Automate Maker Portal. Right? This is the latest innovation from Microsoft for agent developers using Copilot Studio. Right? Next, I'll show you. Another way of creating a flow using Copilot Studio. Go to your agent and click on the flows link. This time I'll go with the start and designer approach. As we discussed, two ways we can create a flow from Copilot Studio. By passing a prompt and with the designer. Right? So here the flow designer opened and you can just add the trigger followed by some actions. I am just adding here a trigger run flow. From Copilot and Microsoft Teams related action, just to show you how we can add. You can see the sample trigger and action on the screen. This is the trigger and this is my action. So here we have learned two ways how we can create flow. Using the prompt approach, you need to pass a prompt for your flow creation. And then your flow framework will be created. With the designer approach, you need to design your flow from the scratch. And for both types of flow, we can see the version history of a flow. You can restore your flow from the past times. This is very helpful feature for the flow development. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the demo and learned something new today. If it helped, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be sharing more on Microsoft Copilot, Gen AI, Power Platform, SharePoint Online, and more. Thanks for being part of the journey. See you in the next video.